Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with a tutorial on how to use Google Street View data as environment and images for your renders. And you can use this with any renderer that supports using uh, 360 degree images for use with an environment map. So like a dome map in Redshift or a uh, environment light in RenderMan. So we're gonna use something called SVD 360 or also known as uh, Street View Downloader. And what we're going to do is come to svd360.istreetview.com and we will download that for your platform of choice. Um, I've downloaded this and I've virus scanned the absolute hell out of it. So uh, as far as I can tell, it's all safe and above board. Check that it's not um, connecting to servers anywhere while it's running and it doesn't seem to be. So use this at your own risk, but um, so far as I can tell, it seems to be safe. So once you've downloaded and installed it, you can run it from your system menu. I'll just type in Street View Download 360 and open it and we'll get this here. Well, you need to use this in conjunction with the uh, iStreetView website and you can just use this like you'd use Google Maps. Um, I've got dark mode on for Chrome. So if all these buttons look a little bit weird, it's just because of that. Um, this is the little man that you drag and drop. So you can also uh, make sure that you can look at walking trails as well, not just you know, driving streets. So this is um, Cape Rianga, which is at the very top of the North Island. Um, and it has got a quite nice view. So we're going to click this here and copy it. And then I'll just paste that into here. And then download the panorama. Um, and I'll just save this to desktop. Um, you can download it as a JPEG or a PNG. It's both, it's both are going to be an 8-bit. So it's not going to make too much of a difference for your environments because the color depth is essentially the same. This is also going to be an sRGB, so make sure you keep that in mind if you're working in linear. So we'll download that. Okay, so here in Maya, I'm just going to create some geometry and import that environment map. And you can use any renderer, like I said. I'm just going to use uh, Redshift for this one. So whichever your environment light uh, light is called. It's a dome light in uh, Redshift. It will be an environment light in RenderMan. And I'm just going to open up my image, which I'm going to actually rename here because it shouldn't have a space in the name. All right, so I just changed that um, floor into a holdout. I've already got a tutorial on how to do that if you want to find out how to do it. And uh, chuck the ball in there and there you go. It uh, works as a nice little environment shader as well as you could use it um, for, you know, putting plates in and you can chuck your ball in the ocean, you can put it on the land. Very simple. Um, so yeah, hopefully that's useful for you guys out there if you're looking to add a couple of extra uh, extra environment images to your library. Like I said, you can use images from not just the street, but check the trails as well from around the place. Lots of lovely places in New Zealand, so make sure you have a bit of an explore through there. Up in the North Island, Cape Rianga, and the South Island and Southland and Queenstown if you're looking for some nice Alps. Um, Waikato if you're looking for some lovely green rolling hills. So enjoy. Uh, let me know in the comments if this has been helpful for you and if there's anywhere specific that you found that's made a nice background image. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord and more by clicking the link below.